This is welcome to our home. That's so cool. Yeah, Hannah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> now for my review of the Orbea Oys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh my God, this thing handled so well. Look at the <laughs> color matching combo of the bike, the jersey. I just think it's a perfect match. Does that mean I get the bike? Ooh, uh, let, let me see. I just want to introduce you guys to the Orbea crew because really rad story behind this couple. Super freaking awesome. So there's the Orbea tent. And look how many, I mean, these are the awesome people Hi. from Orbea. <laughs> What's up? But uh, I just want to show you guys the colors first. Look at all those pretty colors. So, your jersey. and I know it does match my jersey a little bit. It does, it totally matches your jersey. So you were saying that's part of the custom paint program? Yes, this is part of the Mayo program. So all these colors you see in here right now, outside of the red wild FSs, uh, and the gains, we have gains on the other side. Uh, this is all custom colors. Oh, sweet. So yeah, you can make them as ugly or as pretty as you want, and uh, we don't charge you extra for it. That's killer, and so I guess yeah. now we have to introduce you. So who are you? Uh, <laughs> my name's Kelly, um, I'm the demo experience driver, West Coast. Hi, uh, my name is Marion, I'm Kelly's assistant mm -hmm. for this store. <laughs> awesome, and you were saying you're from France. I am from France originally, yeah. Sweet, do you know my sister? Uh, no. <laughs> it's probably not. Well, France is not as big as the U.S., but it's a big country. Still itself. pretty big. But, so you guys basically, you run the demo program. Yes. She helps you out. Absolutely. Uh, without her, uh, everything would be twice as long, so I'm pretty thankful for that. There's a van there, so you guys were saying that's your living quarters? Yes, actually we live in between these bikes right here. Uh, no, you just squeeze no, just on saying, it. No. No, so let's <laughs> let's check out your guys' home. This is turning into a van life crib channel. So this is, if you guys are ever wondering where demo drivers live when they're on the road. It's a secret. Whoa. It is a secret. Hotel. Nope, this is welcome to our home. That's so cool. Yeah, so we keep it pretty basic in here. We have a fridge. Um, fridge is powered by the solar panels up top. Uh, we have this oh, awesome see. fan in here, which is super clutch, especially on hot days. Uh, bed, queen size bed, yoga mats are on the side. And then uh, we found that these cubbies, go ahead and if you want to step in, go for it. Just tough. There we go. Yeah. And we have cubbies, we just keep our hats up here. <laughs> That's so here. cool. And then uh, this is our, our mascot. Uh, ah, hey, so -so, buddy. So so, uh, <laughs> go be a sloth. Um, that's just our little thing, and then this is how we cook. Just jet boil, and then uh, obviously uh, Trader Joe's to the rescue. Such we love Trader Joe's. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Yeah, shout out to Trader <laughs> Joe's. <laughs> it's, it's, we're gonna right. have a brand deal here. Yeah, I approve of that yeah. one. Yeah, and then uh, sequence is our game of choice, and then uh, this is everything. So what is that flag? Uh, this is a Luxembourgish city, uh, Luxembourg city flag. Uh, I'm Luxembourgish, and obviously She's American. Proud of it. I'm very proud to be Luxembourgish. Um, and then behind it, we cover up the holes with our fearless trash bags oh. for privacy. Trash bags also work for privacy. <laughs> That's so rad. And I just, I love this setup. It's just so simple that it yeah. works. You are also saying when you're not assisting with a demo driver, you have your own company too. Yes. Yeah, I do. So I do content writing and copywriting, so mostly for French companies. So I help people with their communication strategy, all, all that good stuff, social media. What's that called? Uh, it's called uh, Just Empty Copywriting. Just Empty yep. Copywriting. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Let's check yeah. out the, the garage. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can. See if we can there. squeeze. Oh, yeah. perfect. There we go. Ah, just like a little bit platform setup. Yeah, I think I'm on an angle here, so I can't really open it. Totally. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. So, so yeah, usually it's organized a little bit better. It's kind of uh, not the best right now, but uh, no, it works. it's it solid. Works. I yep. love it. Yep. Um, I have been on the road since March, the very beginning of March, end of February, and then she joined me in April. Yeah, yeah. April for me. So, yeah. And so, how are you guys liking van life? Oh, van life is epic, but uh, maybe it's not for everybody. For us, we love it. I think uh, if you haven't tried it yet, go for it. It's awesome. Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Please, come check out Orbea. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey. On a bicycle. Back. She's back. Let's Hannah. See how today goes. <laughs> it's going to be gnarly. How are you feeling? Um, I'm still under the weather, but I think I'm almost recovered, so this is going to be okay. 
but what is that then? Look how bright oh that boy. bike is. So uh, it's gonna help me get up the climbs for sure. <laughs> that is. So if you guys are wondering what these things are, these are what we're demoing today. It's the Orbea. I'm gonna call it Oys, but it's basically their cross-country trail style bike, about 120 mils of travel in the rear. This thing is really rad. Check this build out real quick. All right, so we have the Fox 34 step cast fork. So that thing is nice and light with some Mavic uh, wheels, some Maxxis tires. Um, this is really cool. So we basically have a dual lockout right there. So front and rear, Crank Brothers dropper post that Fox shock back there and running an X01 Eagle drivetrain on there. So this build looks really awesome. And it's just, it's been a while since I've been on a cross country bike. It's gonna be interesting, but we're gonna ride Tam again and see how the cross country bike performs on the trails, both uphill and downhills. You guys excited to ride Marin today? Hell yeah, who is it? You wanna tell us a little bit about the bike? A little bit about the bike, it's a cross country bike. You get it, you can get it in 120 or 100 by 100. Uh, the way they're set up right now is the trail edition. Uh, it's going to be 120 by 120. I think it's kind of the sweet spot if you want to just cruise. You want to, it climbs extremely well. It'll descend pretty well. Uh, you can even do some hairy stuff on it if you'd like. Yeah, we have the whole crew and we're making our way up. And I will say, Feels pretty rad being on a uh, more cross-country style bike. And I know it looks like a lot of a lot of cables around the handlebars, but this lockout lever, you can get used to using it. It's pretty rad. You just kind of click it and then stand up out of the saddle. Feels super solid. And see how precise this bike can get. Hopefully not fall off the edge. Woo! So rad. We have cool kid Hannah with his rad glasses. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I can't get the dropper down. <laughs> did you keep mixing it up with? Yeah, I just did, yeah. <laughs> with the lockout. That's the only thing. You gotta get used to that lockout being down there. Oh, I didn't even have it locked. Oh, no. Oh, no, maybe I did. I don't know what's going on. How are you liking it? It's fast. It's really fast. There they are. <laughs> Dream team. <laughs> give me a pull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give her any ideas. Do. She's my pack. She's a pack mule. I'm like, hey, just give pull me a pull. Her? Yeah. <laughs> you, you two should try it out. <laughs> and so you're on the Rayon. Yes. Why don't you have a Oys? Ooh, um, because I'm kind of a chicken. Kind of chicken. I like my long travel. You like the, the travel. I do. I love the flow. I love the softness. Although on climbs, 10 times out of 10, I take that bike. Look at the <laughs> color matching combo of the bike, the jersey. I just think it's a perfect match. Does that mean I get the bike? Ooh, uh, let, let me see. I'll, let, let, let me talk to headquarters. Okay. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> it mean it matches. That's, that's enough. Or Bea, if you're watching, look at this. We are ready. We're the dream yeah, team. Yeah, and your helmet matches and, the jersey. Yeah, Everything and the helmet. is just this on is point today. On yeah. point, Sam. Taking the rowdier lines too, and this thing is just doing so well. climbing bike that rear tire just need to dig in just a bit keep traction but so far humped on this thing whoop coming in let's see what we got Woo. Oh. oh yeah oh wow oh my god this thing handles so well good job boys Woo. Oh, <laughs> Kelly was trying this out and 
and she took out the bridge. What? It literally fell. So if anyone's trying to hit this stuff, not the best engineering, Boy Scouts. It's like, you know those videos? She goes super fast. Go fast so otherwise it falls on Yeah, that's exactly it. That's Luckily, no one was hurt in the making of this uh, session. All right, so that was another fun ride in Marin. Uh, I just have to start off this review of the Orboya Oys by saying I, I need to give props to those demo drivers. So Kelly and Marianne honestly are taking care of probably one of the most dialed fleets of bikes and they are absolutely crushing it. Um, I've tested a lot of bikes, I've met a lot of demo drivers and I can say that they're probably some of the most well-maintained bikes I've ever actually ridden. Normally like going into riding demo bikes, it's always like a little bit of a, a bummer because I know something's gonna be creaking, squeaking, uh, howling, and I uh, use um, demo bikes definitely get abused. I know demo drivers are just swamped with work on the road, traveling so much consistently. Um, and normally the bikes aren't necessarily in the best shape, but it really did feel like I was riding brand new bikes, both on the Oyes demo as well as the Rayon as well. So Orbea, if you're watching this, Kelly and Marion are absolutely crushing it. Now for my review of the Orbea Oys. I know I'm a rider that's a little bit more on the enduro side of the spectrum, but that's not to say that I can't have fun on a more cross-country style bike. And I will say this, with the Orbea Oys, it absolutely blew me away when it came time for the downhills, which is pretty surprising because you would think that, I mean, obviously it's gonna be a great climber. Downhill, it'll probably be a little bit sketchier, but that was not the case with the Oys. It was super composed and it felt like every time that it got, the trail got a little bit chunky or a little bit faster, it just really begged for more. And, and so I'm truly blown away by how the, the bike suspension design really made up for kind of the lack of travel and also the, the setup as well. And that's also where I felt like was the biggest limitation of the bike was how it was set up a tad. Um, because the bike, it wants to fly down the trail. It loves the chunk. Um, but at the same time, the tires were a little bit more on the cross country side. And I felt like I really couldn't push it to its full potential with that current tire setup. And that says a lot to the bike because uh, like I was had a feeling that it would just start to get sketchy when the trail got chunky, but no, it really blew me away with its performance on the downhill. It just begged for more chunk. And um, so I was thoroughly impressed there. In terms of the climbing, it was a rocket ship up. It was super efficient. It really just, you can get out of the saddle, really crank down whether the suspension was open or locked out. And that was a feature that I really liked was having that dual lockout. The only drawback there is it did take a little bit of adjustment to get used to the dropper post and that dual lockout being on the same side. Um, but as soon as you get used to that, then it's a really cool feature to have. Um, the other thing that I really liked on the climbs was it was very precise. So whether it was a, a technical Rudy section where you kind of need to put the bike in a specific section to put the power down um, or a switchback, it just, it, it tackled it all with ease. Um, the only thing there as well is I did feel that rear tire, the tread really wasn't there. And I, and I felt like you wanted to put a lot of power down on the bike, but that rear tire just wouldn't hold up. And uh, yeah, so I would probably put a little bit of a beefier tire setup on this bike just because it really does beg for you to go faster on the downhills. So yeah, I was very impressed by the composure of this bike on the downhills and the efficiency of the bike on the uphill. Seat angle was nice and steep. I will say the things that I didn't like, like I said, the tire setup, that Crank Brothers dropper post, not the biggest fan. It was a little bit slow to return. I didn't really like the remote actuation on that lever. So that's something that I would probably swap out, but it definitely needs a dropper post because it's super capable on the downhills. And room for two water bottle cages was another really awesome thing on this bike. So I think if you're the type of rider that you want a cross country bike, but you don't want to sacrifice too much in terms of the downhill, you still want to have fun. You want a bike that's going to handle its own. Highly recommend the Orbea Oys. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. But do you guys want me to review more cross country bikes in the future? Or what, what other bikes do you guys want us to review? Happy to make it happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Until next time, you guys, ride awesome. Ew.